If you're looking for Madden 19 Ultimate Team coins, be sure to head over to muttcoin.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for an 8% discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 19 Ultimate Team Mutt Squads game. Guys, we are playing today alongside Ryan915 and Daffodil Killer. You guys know Ryan, obviously, from YouTube. Daffy is a player that I've played squads with quite a bit as well. And uh, today we're matched up against a group of guys who I think play together pretty regularly. They had some really nice offensive plays, and uh, they actually lit up our defense a lot more than most people do. Now, granted, some of it was like that, like you just saw where they threw directly at Ryan's user and for some reason he didn't get an animation, but either way, they still put some points on the board in this game. So this is a pretty entertaining one. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Some crazy stuff happens in this one as I come off the edge there, hit the quarterback while he's throwing. That maybe should have been a fumble based on where the ball landed, but what are you going to do? Either way, next play, they do the same thing pretty much, hitting the quarterback while he throws. Brings up a fourth and two here for the opposing team. And obviously, guys, we're expecting them to throw short here, but they go over the top and again, Ryan clicks in and doesn't get any sort of an animation. I don't know why that happens. It seems to happen a lot in Mutt Squads for some reason. But uh, next play, they are going to get into the end zone for an opening drive touchdown. Saquon Barkley rowing the boat in the end zone. So we're down seven early against a team that, you know, we weren't expecting to be down against based on the players that they had. They didn't have an excellent team. Their team was decent. They had some 90 overalls, but nothing spectacular. So, yeah, we were a little disappointed. And Daff right here throws a ridiculously dangerous pass, but it works out. Ryan comes up with the catch this time. That is Doug Baldwin. Yeah, contested catch master Doug Baldwin. Who knew that? So he comes up with a big touchdown. We get bailed out. They got bailed out on the first drive, so we'll take it. 7-7. Seven to seven. Pretty much acts like the first drive didn't happen. And right there, Jalen Ramsey with an unbelievable interception. I don't think I've seen that animation in this game. And that was just a huge play for our team because now we have a chance to take over and potentially get the lead on this drive. All we have to do, obviously, is come up with three to get a lead on this game. So now Daff looking down the field here. He's got Ryan on the sidelines. Big tip, tippy toe catch there on the sidelines. Nice snag there. Nice throw by Daffy as well. Bringing up now a second and 12. Daff's going to look deep into the end zone. Randy Moss cannot come up with it. He apparently doesn't have the clutch catch the traffic in double or catch in double traffic uh, type of uh, animation that Doug Baldwin does. Who knew? So uh, we end up taking the sack there on third and 12. Couldn't find anybody open. And on the ensuing field goal, Daff is going to take a huge L missing that field goal. So he told us that he was experiencing some lag while he was kicking. Now, a lot of times people say that when they miss a kick. Like, that happens all the time. But you're going to see in this game that we're pretty sure that that actually does happen. And right here, a ridiculous pass again into traffic. No animation whatsoever for some reason, and they get another touchdown by just hucking the ball into coverage. So that's pretty frustrating, and again, we're going to take another sack here. I think Daff probably could have thrown it to me short there, but he decided to be a little bit conservative, not throw into much traffic if he could, and it brings up a third and 21 here, and unfortunately, we're going to throw it into traffic on this one as well, throwing the interception. So we're down 14 to 7. Opponents in scoring territory to go up two scores on this drive. We have to make a play defensively. This is a big, big point in the game. And the guy is going to throw it right at my user. And I'm basically running the route with him there. So I get the interception. That was a big turning point in this football game because if they could have put up points there, that could have been a big thing as far as how we have to play going forward. We'd have to pass the ball a hell of a lot more than we otherwise would. So right here, Daff's going to find me short. Unfortunately, on 2nd and 11, we do drop the ball despite going for the possession catch. Obviously, the uh, possession catch isn't nearly as dominant as it was last year. Unfortunately, right here, Daff's going to look for me short. I don't know what he saw there. Uh, yeah, that, that wasn't his best pass. Let's put it that way. But definitely, uh, we're still in this football game. They are again in the situation, though, where they could go up two scores. So this is a very important stop for us. And Ryan is going to come up with the user hit stick. And we get the fumble this time. Massive play. I think that's one of the first big hit fumbles that we have seen with Ronnie Lott, despite the fact that he has huge hitting. So uh, big play for us there. And on the next play, second and two. Daffy is going to find Ryan deep on the deep post, beating the defense, and a huge 
differentiator. Guys, we could have been down two scores. Instead, we tie this football game with a minute left in the first half, and the guy is going to look deep here into traffic. We've got a guy over there on the left, and he is going to make contact with the receiver right as he catches it to force the incompletion. Aaron Rodgers for them, 5 of 14 at this point, so not a great day, but he has a few deep passes that have gone for touchdowns. Third and 10 here, trying to scramble to pick up the first down. Doesn't want to take the big hit, so we do get the ball back on a punt. About... 10 seconds left when we eventually get the ball. We're pretty much just going to look deep here for the most part, but then we decide to actually go short because we didn't see anything. Didn't want to force the, the you know, turnover and potentially have a problem there at the end of the half. So we go into the half 14 to 14. Very close game, but we get the football now. So the momentum is in our favor, and Saquon Barkley is taking off. He is going to run over a defender on that play. Nice run there by Saquon, the young boy, picking up the nice first down. Daffy looking down the field here. I am wide open and for some reason the ball sails right over my head Aaron Rodgers for us 5 of 11 at this point so not much better than what they were doing but obviously not throwing nearly as many dangerous passes and another dangerous pass here right into traffic for the other team 6 of 14 for Aaron Rodgers for them at this point not really what you would be looking for, but, you know, it happens in mud squads. It's hard to complete passes. Third and eight here. They're going to check it down short and just take their field position here with the punt. So we've got the ball at the 31 now looking to take the lead on this drive. And Daffy is looking deep again. He's got Randy Moss. Can Moss beat the defense deep? Not quite, but he is able to pick up a huge first down for us. Massive pickup there. And again, we've got the football in the red zone. I'm open underneath. I don't know why he forced that pass to Ryan. Uh, squ uh, squads is so difficult, guys. If you've never played quarterback in mud squads, if you play a defense that actually knows what they're doing, it is so difficult to move the football. It is just way different than playing standard head-to-head. -head. Very next play, the bait and switch by me and Ryan there. We set that up before the play started. I said I was going to go in and pass rush, and I thought that that would get him to throw the short pass and Ryan could cut it off. He did, and we get the pick in the red zone, nearly a pick six, and now we're trying to get the ball into the end zone. I thought we should have gone for the QB sneak. They decided they want to go with the pitch, and it did not work out. So now we're in a bad situation here after two unsuccessful rushes. Third and goal at the eight-yard line. We decided to just go conservative here. Probably could have gotten in there if we didn't spin, but, you know, that's hindsight 2020. Next play. Come on, you. You're going to have to sit in the dunce chair. Oh, my gosh. Our second missed field goal. You have got to be kidding me. Terrible luck for us. And yeah, you see there, I mean, missing field goals from that range usually tells you that there's something up with the meter, that there's like the weird lag that you sometimes get in Madden. And that's what was happening in this game. So at this point, I said, no more field goals. No more field goals for us because we can't afford it if we get into the range. And at this point, I'm not sure it's going to happen because they just picked up a huge gain there, bombing it down the field. That was probably one of their better passes of the game. And right here, we're trying to stop them. We're trying to get them as deep as we can so that they have to kick a long field goal here with a minute 19 left. And right here, they as well are going to miss the field goal. So obviously, the, the lag effect is hitting both teams here. But we're going to get a chance here at the end of this football game to potentially win this thing. We've got a minute left on the clock. Wow. What a great pass rush there by Jadavian Clowney to get in there and get the sack. Next play, we're trying to go short here, and Daff is looking. He's looking, but man, takes another sack there, this time from Justin Houston. It's so difficult. So we end up punting there. 21 seconds left. The opposing team does have two timeouts, so they've got a shot now to get into field goal range. A nice pass over the middle into traffic there. They are now at about the range where they need to be to kick a field goal. We're, th we're thinking that they're going to go super short. They decide to actually go about 10 yards down the field. So that sets up what would be a game-winning field goal. And we know we've, between the two of us, missed three field goals at this point. And it's going to be the fourth. Wow. Unreal. Two missed field goals for them at the end of the game. We missed two earlier in the game. And now we're in the situation here in overtime. Ricky Williams. Oh, baby. Off to the races. And he is going to score the touchdown on the first play of overtime. That is your ball game, ladies and gentlemen. What a finish to this football game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure that you go ahead and drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure you also go over and follow Ryan on 
Twitter. Follow Daffodil Killer on Twitter. And also, of course, subscribe to Ryan's YouTube channel as well. Thanks again, guys. And I will talk to you all again soon.